Wednesday means it is time for Jamie's Local Love. Yeah, this time she's enjoying some craft beers at a place called the Perch Brewery. Good morning. Hi, good morning, guys. You know, they take their beer very seriously here, and this is evidence of it right here. So I want to show you the brand new addition to Perch Brewery. Uh, Brett here is the brewer here, and this obviously looks different than the other tanks. Tell me about this tank right here. So yeah, this was built for us custom in uh, Sonoma, California. Uh, it's a, actually a cast concrete tank. Uh, they've used these in the wine industry for many, many years. And we're actually the first brewery in Arizona to have one. And there's only about, I believe, six other breweries in the nation that even have these. So we're uh, sort of breaking new ground with this thing. What's here. the benefit? Why concrete? Um, well, first of all, it's why not, yeah. you know, but I mean, going back to just the traditions and, and the history of beer, you know, it was originally made in earthen pots and things like that, you know, the early, early concrete. So why not have a concrete yeah. fermenter versus having stainless? It allows us to, you know, go into some new styles, some more ancient styles and, and uh, just get some different flavors out of our beer that are... Um, a little more, uh, a little more eccentric, a little different than what everybody else is doing. And let's take a look at the flight that you have here because you are making quite a variety. Yeah, we, we normally have between 14 and 20 different perch beers on tap. Everything from, uh, from, uh, from our lightest beer, which is our Batch 28 Blonde Ale, to uh, Honey Porter, to uh, Brown Ale, to you know an American Red lots of different IPAs which is sort of like that's the big thing right now so many places making IPAs. Your favorite what's your favorite your pet your little I'm, pet project. I'm, I'm an IPA guy mm -hmm. uh, the red is one of my is one of my oldest recipes as a brewer uh, so we do we make that one all the time but you know I'm an IPA guy and I, I like having you know, we, we normally have five or six different IPAs yeah. of all different styles, from single IPAs to double IPAs. And I heard know, this one had a very high alcohol content. It was like nine point. Uh, oh, is this the strawberry IPA? Uh, yeah. That's in here. Okay. No. Yeah. We do. We 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 do make that beer uh, every month or so, yeah. and it's on for about a week. You know, because we go through it really fast. But the original batch we made was 9.6% oh, because we made it for the Strong Beer Festival. But so you've got the beer, you've got the delicious burgers that you see huge, and then you've got the birds as well. And Rebecca here, the owner, she has just fallen in love. And I have learned that birds like to cuddle. So take a look at that gorgeous, gorgeous animal. And I'm going to send it back to you guys. All right. Sounds oh, good. Such Gotta a cute love the birds. face. Oh, Jamie, thank you, you so much. Are you talking about Jamie or the, well, or the bird? Well, both. 